What's going on everybody? James Urban-Picker.com here and we're going to go over some things that sold in the last couple of days. This is just for some be on the lookout for uh, things to check out if you're new to these. Also, this is everything that's like $8 and higher. A lot of people don't like messing with cheaper stuff, unlike me. But uh, so everything that's $8 higher, urban-picker.com is the store where you can go and buy a thing or two. Or you can follow me on Instagram at helpfirstday if you would like to see these items as I post them. So we'll get into this. We got some Dan Vogelberg, Vogelberg cassettes. Um, I have tons of cassettes in my collection or in my storage, so I'm going to start lotting them together to get rid of them. Uh, let's see, we got this Illinois vintage shirt. I believe this was a Ben's find, so under 50 cents into it, sold for $15.99. Parkway West hat, under 50 into it, sold for $9.99. Finding a Lion Eye, same, under 50 into that. Sold for $14.99. Tommy Hilfinger sweater. This is probably a Ben's item also, so under $50 into it, more than likely, and it sold for our $14.99. Live wire hat. Under $50 into that. Sold for $10. Some converse. I just picked these up. Not too long ago, I think I got four bucks into them. I just took an offer for 11 to move them quick. So I got the offer within like a couple of days of listing them. So another hat, uh, under 50 into this, sold for $10. Under 50 into it, sold for $10. Under 50 into it, sold for $10. I just sold like six or seven hats to another person just under. Eight dollars and just sent them an invoice just a few minutes ago. So there's a lot that sells that in a lot comes up more than eight bucks. I may find a way to start including that kind of stuff into this also. Uh, so this jacket, I believe this was from one of my hidden spots I don't talk about. I think I got a buck fifty into this and it sold for twenty five dollars. Another hat under fifty into this sold for twelve ninety nine. A Corvette model sold for $8.39. This was from my storage. I had lots of Corvette stuff in storage. We used to have a Corvette, and my wife used to like buying a lot of Corvette toys and die casts and stuff. So this is just from storage. Atlanta Brave sweatshirt. I'm not sure where I picked this up. It's been a while in the store, so sold for $15. Bucks. American Red Cross hat. I sell these usually pretty quick every time I find them. Uh, under 50 cents into this, sold for $9.50. <laughs> pair of shoes I bought for me. And like I said before, I'm starting a new thing where I'm, if it's something I haven't wore or I don't know when I'm going to wear, I'm just listing it in my store at an over-evaluated price, basically. Thinking, you know, if it sells, it sells. If it don't, it don't. Well, these sold for the asking price over what they're actually selling for. So that's good. But I only got $75 into these and they sold for $199.99. I always pick up voice recorders when I find them, especially at the bins. So I got under 50 cents into this, brought it home. It didn't work. Listed it, still sold for $13. Good stuff. Some New Balance shoes. I probably got four bucks into these, sold for $20. Just a plain camo hat. Under 50 into it, sold for $9.74. There's Mama's Courtney. <laughs> uh, rock set CD promo single. As I had stated in one of my other videos about some certain promo singles by certain artists being hot, rock set being one of them, Richard Marks, depending on what they are. I've got about three of these in the store, and one sold for $34.99. Nike. Tank top, I believe this was a Ben's item, under 50 into it, sold for $19.99. This was a Frank Sinatra sealed 8-track. This was from my storage area, sold for €20. Euro. 
aggress, 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 a guess brown purse sold for $9.99. Don't know if this was a Ben's item or what. I don't remember. These little cool looking boots here. Pick these up. These might be in the eBay way video. I paid three bucks for them. They sold for $27. This firefighter's dragon. It's all over print B. This was kind of cool. I believe this was a Ben's item, under 50 into it. Sold for $22.49. NBA Finals Celtic jacket. I don't remember where I got this. It's been in the store for quite a while. Sold for $67.99. Country 11 vintage hat, under 50 into that, sold for 13 British pounds. Mardi Gras LP, this was a Ben's item, I believe, under 50 into it, sold for $15. Some ASICs women's running shoes, probably got four bucks into these, sold for 20 British pounds. A lot of three video games that I thought I was going to have an issue moving. Or at least getting my money back, I should say. Not moving. I knew they would move. I paid $2 a piece for them, I believe. And just listed them in a lot for $14.99. And they sold. Bass Pro Shops T. Probably a Ben's item. Under 50 into it. Sold for $9.35. Budweiser Cap. Under 50 into it. Sold for $10.39. Tommy Hilfinger. Probably a Ben's item. Sold for $14. C is for cookie and that's good enough for me. Under 50 into it. Going to Australia. $15.09. Actually, I think this might be going to Russia. They just bought it on the Australian site. Alice and Olivia. Don't remember where I got that. Sold for 8 bucks. Fiona Knights. These are probably from... I only got four bucks into these, but my I think these my wife picked up and I kind of should have checked them before I bought them. But at least I got my money back and a little bit of change. Sold for nine dollars. Paul McCartney promo single from storage, seven eighty nine British pounds. A Norfolk Southern. I love train stuff. Under fifty into it. Sold for ten dollars. Build a bear. Fred Bird from the Cardinals. Probably a Ben's item under 50 into it. Sold for $17.99. Natural Soft. I believe this was another pair my wife snagged at the... Paid 4 bucks for that I should have checked. Sold for $10. At least I'm not losing money, so that's good. Uh, PGA Championship. And they're selling quick, so that's good too. Uh, T-shirt. Uh... Don't remember if this was a Benz or if I have a dollar into it. One or the other. Sold for $19.99. Columbia University. These hats have been moving. I got them at the Benz, 50 cents a piece. I just put up another one yesterday or two yesterday. And they've been moving pretty quick. Sold for $14.99. Listed about 600 items in the last three days. So I got to pile up another 200 in my store today. A vintage windbreaker. I believe this was a Benz item. Sold for 15 bucks. Black Crow's sealed cassette from storage. But I know I had a dollar into this because, uh, as I stated before, I bought a uh, record store out down the Smoky Mountains. Didn't buy them out, but they were moving. And I bought a lot of their sealed cassettes for a buck a piece. And this sold for $8.31. Corvette T. I think I got a buck into this. It's either a dollar. I don't think it was a... I mean, it could have been a Benz. I don't remember. Sold for 11 bucks, though. Good stuff. Vintage John Roberts polka dot dress. Um, I don't remember where I picked this up. <laughs> I have a hard time remembering the women's stuff because I don't... Unless it's something unique that stands out. I don't remember where I picked this up at. I either have $4 into it or it was a Benz item. But I sold for 15 bucks. MGM Grand, new with tags, vintage T. Don't remember where I picked that up at either. Sold for $12. A Chivon hat, under 50 into it, sold for $19.99. Chivet. 
Craft and Barrels. Sweater, probably Ben's item more than likely. Sold for 10 bucks. Another promo CD from my uh, storage. Sold for 11.24. This was a little thimble collection. This was a consignment item. Sold for 25 euro. Harry Potter shirt from uh, either the Benz or I have a dollar into it. And sold for 9.35. Bass Pro Shops vintage hat. Under 50 into it, 990 euro. My babies. <laughs> Another set of rollers, gotta love that. Three, four, or five dollars into this, sold for 17.99. A Gucci necktie, I believe this was a Ben's item, sold for $20. Professional Tennis Association hat, under 50 into it, $12.95 sold. The snap case, I listed a bunch of snap case sets. Snap case, if you don't know, is just an old uh, style of casing. It's a solid piece of plastic cassette that pops open. It's not like your jewel case uh, cassettes, the normal ones that you know of. But it's all for $12.99. Pretty quick, and I probably should have looked this up before I listed it because I had a Somebody emailed me not too long after it sold, asking me if I had another one or still had that one because they wanted it. High Rollers PC game. This was from my storage area. I had bought out in what, what is that, date under 96? I bought out, I didn't buy out, but these were clearance from like a, from Sound Warehouse when I used to work at Sound Warehouse as a music store here in St. Louis. And we clearance these out way back in 96, and I ended up getting tons of different games and just threw them in storage over the years. Because I used to collect video game stuff, so they were part of that collection. Well, these are for my storage, so for 15 bucks. Ocean Racing Team, under 50 into it, $10 out. Norway Hat, under 50 in, $12 out. Joe Cocker Cassette. I think I just picked this up at the bins the other day. So under 50 into it, 12 euro out. Best Buddies Windbreaker. Uh, Volvo, this I believe was a Benz item. Sold for $20. The Allen Iverson 76ers jerseys. I believe this was a Benz item also. Sold for $80.99. Whoops. Not that one. Click that. Here's another one of those snap case cassettes, sold for $10. Vintage Wrangler shirt. I'm surprised this took so long to sell. This was a cool shirt. I don't remember where I picked it up, but it sold for $35. Bucks. Another one of those wolf plates, picked up at the bins. Still had tons of those things left. Sold for $17.99. An autograph CD. Anthony Evans, probably from storage, sold for 950 British pounds. And we are back to the beginning. So thanks everybody for watching. And I'm glad that the furnace guy listened to me because he was coming today between 9 and 12. And I told him I'm going to be doing a video between 9 and 5. So don't interrupt me. Uh, so <laughs> bad joke. All right. So. Follow me on Instagram if you like it. Help first day and urban-picker.com to buy anything. And thanks everybody for watching. And let me try to find this button and I'm out.